welcome to this new video tutorial of Magento 2 Paytabs Sadat Payment Plugin. And in today's video tutorial, we'll be taking you through the uh, web store front end workflow for the customers. So, how basically the customers would be able to select the uh, Paytabs Sadat payment uh, method at the checkout time so as to make the payments for the orders that they are going to place. And apart from that, we'll also be uh, showing you the back end initial configuration uh, before using the plugin functionality at the store front end by the admin. And we'll also show you how to generate the pay tabs secret key that is required for the configuration purposes. So before we proceed further to the uh, web store front end uh, for the uh, customer flow, uh, let me give you a small gist about this uh, payment uh, plugin. So uh, this uh, payment plugin basically is for the Magento 2 web store. Uh, and uh, now it allows the merchants from the Saudi Arabia to make use of their Sadat account for receiving the payments for the products that have been ordered by the customers. So basically the merchants are that are there within the Saudi Arabia and are having the account with the uh, Sadat bank can make use of this particular payment method so as to receive the payments from the customers uh, for their uh, orders uh, that have been placed by the customers apart from that uh, this uh, plugin basically integrates the uh, Sadat payment via pay tabs with the new Magento 2 store thereby easing the process of receiving and processing the online payments so now let's get uh, ahead and let's see how this particular plugin works at the uh, front end first so I'll just take you to the Magento 2 web store for that and kindly note that uh, the uh, Sadat payment method only supports the uh, Saudi Arabia real currency and uh, you must also have an account at Paytabs and uh, you also can uh, make uh, use of the referral link, link that you can see here on within the user guide of this particular plugin so you can create a new account uh, on Paytabs using the web pool referral link as well so uh, let's go to the front end and let's see how this particular plugin works uh, for processing the payments there So right now I'm at the uh, web store uh, uh, checkout page as you can see here under the shipping section. So I've already logged into my customer account and here I've selected my shipping address and now I'll be uh, choosing my shipping method. So here you can see that we have different shipping methods as well. So I'll be choosing this uh, Saudi Arabian Real Zero that's for the free uh, method. So after selecting my uh, shipping method I'll just tap here on the next button. And that would uh, take us to the uh, payment method section as you can see here so on the right hand side uh, you can see the order summary for the product and the order total is SAR 11.80 and uh, on the left hand side now you can see that we have the uh, pay tabs Sadat payment system uh, at the very top the, as you can see here so we just need to choose that up we'll tap on the radio button for that and thereafter we just need to enter Sadat account id so after we entered our sadat account id we can tap here on the place order button and then we'll be uh, what we say is we'll be redirected towards the sadat payment gateway there wherein we'll be uh, needing to enter our uh, account id and the password to log in so as to make the payment so right now uh, as uh, sadat had already given us uh, their payment details but they have now expired right now so uh, because we can we should also have uh, the merchants account within the sada the bank as well so uh, what i'll be doing is i'll just uh, take you to the uh, user guide now to show you the rest of the flow after we have selected the sada payment uh, gateway at the uh, payment uh, page here so for that let me take you to the uh, user guide now so uh, here you can see that we have selected our payment method uh, that's the sada the pay tabs payment method and thereafter uh, we just need here to tap here on the place order button and within the above section here we have entered our account id basically and thereafter uh, the uh, the uh, much, uh, the customer basically needs to enter the sadat account id as well so the customers must also have their account within the sadat the bank there and now the customer just has to enter the sadat account id and the password and then they'll be tapping here on the uh, proceed button as you can see now after that what happens is that uh, another page comes up uh, which has the transaction details basically and here uh, uh, the customer just needs to select his uh, secret image and the customer needs to select a one-time password method 
and then click on the uh, submit button so here you can see that we have the transition details at the top and uh, here you can see the amount uh, and the rest of the details and the date and uh, the transaction uh, reference number as well so uh, under the first level or under the second level of authentication the customer just needs to uh, choose his secret image first and then on the right hand side uh, he needs to select a one-time password uh, a method so you can choose the SMS and uh, you'll be receiving the SMS on your registered mobile number you need to enter that up and thereafter you just need to tap here on the submit button after you tap on the submit button uh, as I've shown in the above image the customers can see the transaction details which would be including the merchant name uh, and merchant reference number the uh, SADA transaction number the transaction amount the description and the status as success after you have successfully placed the order and thereafter you will again be redirected back uh, to the merchant website that's the merchant to web store and here you can check the particular order that you've placed by navigating through my account and then my orders and choosing the respective order that you have placed and then on the uh, payment method you will be able to see the uh, type of method um, type of payment method that you have chosen and uh, made use of for paying the amount uh, for the order that you have just placed over the web store so you can see that we have it as paytabs sada payment uh, method apart from that the customer can basically view and print his uh, invoice uh, by tapping here on the uh, print invoice button under the uh, or under the same order here and uh, can check the details thereafter now uh, that was how basically uh, the customer would be able to uh, place an order using the uh, magento 2 paytab sada payment uh, method and the customer also needs to have a paytab sada payment account there and uh, for the merchants as well they need to have their uh, bank account as well as they need to have a paytab uh, sada payment uh, uh, what we say as the account there and uh, now uh, let me take you further and let me show you how basically the uh, merchant to do web store owner uh, or the admin would be able to configure this uh, paytab sada payment from the uh, backend uh, configuration settings of the module uh, before making use of the particular functionality at the web store front end so for that i'll just take you to the admin backend panel now so here i'm at the uh, amazon to do web store backend panel so i'll be logging into my account by entering my username and the password and thereafter will be uh, showing you how we can basically configure this particular plugin the payment plugin from the admin backend panel so here we are at the dashboard right now uh, so what i'll be doing is i'll be scrolling down a bit and we'll be navigating through stores and then configuration and on the configuration page as you can see we just need to scroll down and we need to navigate to the uh, sales section and under the sales section we'll tap on the payment methods and that would display all of the payment methods as a, that are available within the imagine to web so itself and here we'll just scroll down and we'll be navigating to the uh, payment methods that is the paytabs sadat payment uh, method we'll just uh, tap that up and that would bring out the uh, configuration or the initial configuration settings for this particular uh, plugin itself so basically here we are having different options let's let's go through each of them one by one so the very first option is to enable or disable so you can choose a yes to enable this particular functionality at the web store front end otherwise choose a no to disable the same then we have the enable mode with two options sandbox and uh, production so if you are uh, wanting to make this uh, uh, particular plugin to be used within the production or the live mode then you need to choose it as a production otherwise if you are making or uh, you are basically using this right now for the testing purposes then you just need to uh, select the sandbox mode thereafter you will have to set up the title that's the uh, 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 pay tab saw the payment method or whatever pay, uh, exact uh, name that you want to set up and this basically uh, this title uh, is visible to the customers at the store front, front itself after setting up the title for this particular uh, plugin you just need to set up your merchant email address so basically you'll get this after you have registered yourself at the uh, pay tabs uh, there 
and you'll also be getting a pay tab secretly that you need to generate under your pay tabs account so for that uh, you just uh, if you're already having that uh, account you just need to click here so from here you can also create a new account and can reach the login page as well and then you can uh, basically uh, copy your pay tab secretly and then paste it here within this particular section and thereafter we have the option uh, to uh, receive the payments from uh, all uh, basically all of the countries that are there or specific countries choosing the specific countries uh, brings up the section where you can multi select the countries from where you want to receive the payments only and uh, for now we can choose it as all countries to allow the payments to be processed from all of the countries so that customers from all of the globe can basically make use of this uh, particular payment plugin so as to make a purchase within your Magento 2 web store and then we have the sort order so basically if you want to display this particular uh, payment method at the very top then you can set the sort order as zero and then uh, we have the new order status so as soon as the order has been placed using the Sada payment uh, method uh, what would the uh, uh, status of the uh, order be so uh, for the new order status we can set it as processing or order approved or suspected fraud as well so for now we'll be setting it as processing and then let me take you to the web store front end so here I'll just tap here on the next button after choosing the shipping methods so basically uh, under the configuration I told you uh, the title so this title is basically uh, here so whatever title you set up there would then be displayed here to the customers so you can set it as per your own requirement there so that was the basic uh, initial configuration that is uh, required for make for before making use of this particular plugin at the web store front end and after configuring this one you just need to tap the save configuration button to save this particular payment gateway method for your Magento 2 web store. So uh, now let me take you for there and let me show you how we can get uh, the uh, Sadad pay tabs secret key as you can see. So this is after you registered the merchant email and uh, now I'll be talking about the pay tab secret key. So for that let me take you to the user guide of this particular plugin and I've also added a link within the description below so you can reach out to that particular user guide once again for a complete uh, description and uh, let me open that up so basically here you can uh, get to know how to uh, create the pay tab secret key so uh, to receive the payments the uh, store admin basically needs to add his Sadal bank within the pay tabs account initially and uh, to create a new merchant account you can reach the pay tabs uh, uh, website by tapping here on the a link that we have provided and then you just need to fill in the required information on the right hand side as you can see at that particular web page and uh, after you have signed up uh, you can basically tap the continue to button to reach out to your dashboard and you'll also be receiving a verification mail on on the email address that you have provided while uh, you have signed up and uh, you just need to basically verify your email address so you will just uh, tap here on the verify link and then uh, after that after when you have uh, basically used your email address uh, for verification so you need to reach your email address then verify your account and then come back and then log into your paytime submergent account once again using the email address and the password uh, used for creating the account at the pay tabs itself and then just uh, navigate to the uh, secret key section as you can see here we have on the side uh, side panel you can see we have the secret key section and this would uh, uh, basically uh, bring up the secret key and you need to copy that up and you just need to ta tap here within this pay tab secret key and you need to enter that up here so uh, the uh, merchants basically can also manage the profiles by navigating through uh, my account and my profile within the uh, pay tabs account and they can easily update uh, their information as well and uh, the merchant also needs to uh, enter the uh, site URL that is uh, where the Sada payment method where pay tabs has been integrated uh, exactly on which uh, page it has been integrated or the website basically so uh, in order to make this module used by the customers so for that you'll just navigate to my account then my profile as you can see here and here on the my profile you'll be setting up the site URL so uh, basically you need to enter that uh, particular site URL so uh, that was how you can basically generate uh, the 
what we say as the uh, PTAB secret key and uh, how you can basically configure the backend uh, section for the PTAB sound payment uh, uh, plugin method. So now let me take you to the admin backend panel and let me show you how the admin will be able to check the uh, audios that have been placed using this particular plugin. So for that I'll just take you through sales and then under operations we'll go to the audios section used for this particular plugin. So uh, basically here you can see that under any of the audios that have been placed uh, using the paytap sound of the payment method under the payment and shipping methods the admin can see the respective uh, method itself and uh, the admin can also find the invoice under the order view and then the invoice option to check the invoice for the particular uh, order that has been placed uh, within your merchant to do web store using the pay tab sadat payment method so uh, basically that was much about the Magento to pay tab sadat payment method and i hope it helped you out in understanding the working of this particular plugin and if you have still having any questions or queries or suggestions regarding this particular plugin then you can always get back to us at support at the rate of webcool.com or you may raise a ticket at webcool.uvdesk.com thanks for watching this video and have a great day ahead